Portrait Artist of the Year, Season 5, Episode 7. This has a lot of good painters. This was a pleasure to watch. Let's get started. First, just a quick reminder that the winner of this program is going to be painting the legendary Tom Jones, the pop singer. And I wanted to put his image here. So here's the first one up for today. It's Gina McKee. She is an actress. She's been in lots of things like Notting. She was in Notting Hill and also in Atonement. She's been in several series that they've broadcast on Masterpiece Theater. So I'm used to seeing her in period costume. She's quite elegant, don't you think? So let's take a very interesting background behind her too, very colorful. All right, four hours into the program, the artists turn their easels around and Gina gets to see the three paintings that have been done of her and she will select one to go home with her. Here's the first one up. This one I find really fascinating. Um, it, it's, it's got a lot of, it just looks so alive, doesn't it? Certainly looks like her as well. I enjoy that they really worked on the background, unlike how it's usually ignored. I like that it's sort of free form back there. And then the blending in their faces is really beautiful, done, beautifully done. There's roundness there. Now we pull back. It looks real good from far away too. Nice job. Boy, I would think that she, she has a good chance of winning here. It's an excellent piece. All right, the next one up. This woman is an amateur. Um, and I am keeping track when we get near the end of these episodes now about who's a professional and who's an amateur when we get to the final judging. This is an interesting piece as well, more than anything because of her technique. I can't even put my hand, finger on what she's doing here. There seems to be a lot of push and pull to her brush action, which is interesting. It uh, certainly looks like Gina. I love the soft colors. And... Um, you know, that's a really good job. So let's see when we pull back. All right, well, she didn't have time to finish, but she anchored things in. Very nicely done. It doesn't have a lot of value range. That's my only issue with the face. But but that's, you can tell that that's this person's style. She's going to work really slowly and sensitively to build her forms, as opposed to being extremely bold. This one's really interesting because of the background, that decorative a thing that just came out of the painter's imagination and I enjoy that the painter had the freedom to to do that because that must be a signature thing that they do uh, which speaks to what your your style development might end up being that makes you different than other painters so now we go ahead to and pull back and take a look and it holds up from far away um, you know, this does suffer a bit from that chalkiness that I've talked about before, when you're not really mixing color, pure color to get your value shifts or your neutrals, but you're using a lot of titanium white. And it's just not my preference to have that sort of thing happen, but, but it's definitely happening here, where all the colors in the face start to end up looking quite chalky or pastel. Now, Gina picks one to go home. Let's see which one she picks. I thought she would pick the first one that came up, but she didn't. She picked this one. It surprised me. So, she's happy with her pick, and now we go on to the next model. The next model is Angela Griffin. She's an actor and a TV presenter and is best known for Coronation Street. Now that is a British soap opera. Uh, she is also one of these people that is very beautiful as, boy, these actresses and actors certainly tend to be. Her background is extremely neutral. We've got nothing going on back there. Um, but there's a lot to work on with her face. So let's take a look. Four hours in, the artists turn their easels around and we get to see what they've done. This, this looks like it could be a strong group. So the first one up, wow, look at that. Whoa, my God. Wow, what a drawing. What a fantastic drawing that is. I have absolutely no criticism of this in any way at all. All done with pencil incredible sensitivity and yes it it does indeed even resemble her boy that's just that's just a beautiful beautiful piece it almost looks 
um, like like it's timeless, like from long, 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 long ago. Oh, from far away, it, it's it's lovely as well. Now, you know, can she paint Tom Jones for a major gallery um, with a pencil? That that could be tough. <laughs> All right, the next one up. This is more my my way of painting. You know, I find values and and patterns, and I attach color and value to patterns to build form. So that's what this person is doing. This person also did three separate paintings on this day. Each painting was about one hour long. And quite frankly, that's what I would have to do in this situation. I, I don't have a painting style that can sustain working hours and hours and hours. So I personally kind of relate to this sort of style. Now when we pull back, let's see what happens. There's definitely no chalkiness going on here. Yeah, I like that painting too. Wow, boy, what a nice piece. Boy, she's she's got a great group to select from. That's, that's just beautiful and really well considered and done. So let's see what the next one is. The next one's really unusual to me. It, it doesn't have a resemblance to her at all. It has really soft, almost like what you would call dry brush. Dry brush is when you take your brush and you wipe it before you apply it to the canvas. So everything is a little bit feathery, I guess you would call it. And I do think this is a beautiful painting. Here's a close up. Yeah, I'm not a fan of when the canvas shows through, but that's that's only a factor when you're up close. In a second, we'll pull away and see what it will look like uh, when it reads from across the room, because the final commission has to be read from across the room. Um, it's beautiful. Gosh, this is a great group. Um, hard to imagine Tom Jones in that style, because I think of him as extremely energetic and masculine, but I might be being sexist here. Uh, so which one does she pick? She picks this one, and I think that's a great choice. Yeah, well, that that's indeed the one I would have picked as well. It's just the kind of style that I really like. Um, it's got a lot of brightness and lightness in it. Really nice brushwork. Very fresh, and um, that's kind of a style that I enjoy. But that's a personal preference. So that was a very strong group. They were they were all very good, and that oh that drawing will remain in my bread mind for a long time. That was just gorgeous. Jamal Jamal I can't say talk today. Jamal Westman um, is known for Hamilton in uh, Britain, and so he is uh, that's what he's known for is his role. I don't know what his other credits are. This program is from 2018. I'm sure he's done many things since then because now we're in 2024 so he was a hot ticket back in 2018. So four hours in the artists turn their easels around and this looks like it could be a strong group as well. I, this whole program has um, strong painters. What a delight. All right here's the first one up. Definitely has a likeness to him. There's a lot of generous amount of paint applied and the chalkiness issue isn't happening here. I know there's some whites that start to be a little chalky, but, but she's put enough really strong pigment in that, uh, that it doesn't read as being washed out. Yeah, that's beautiful. I really like how her brush strokes also contour to the forms on the face. Sometimes you forget that the way you move your brush can really contribute to the believability of uh, spatial relationships. From far away, that reads just beautifully to me as well. So, oh boy, this guy could be a contender. He looks like he'd, he could handle a gallery piece. So let's see what the next one up is. It's a fairly large piece too, I gotta say. All right, let's see what the next one is. Next one is this one. Oh, look how sensitive and beautiful that is. Oh, wow. So here's someone who's just, you know, she's paint, he, she, I can't remember, is painting with the brush. Just so beautifully done. Oh my gosh. I, wow, this is going to be a Sophie's Choice of a, an episode. There's so many good painters here. Let's look at this close up. Oh, that is beautiful. Just beautiful. Wow, look at all the different decisions that had to be made just about those areas. Gosh, that's what makes painting exhausting. It, it, it's a lot, of, a lot of decisions and concentration you have to have. Now, when you pull back, it's way less effective when you pull back. And I guess that's because it's such a sensitive piece up close. You definitely have to paint differently when you're painting for a large scale than when you're painting for a smaller scale. 
Here's the third one. I love this one too. It's just beautifully, beautifully done. And this has a resemblance to them too. So everyone has accomplished that. It looks like they didn't have the time to to get very far beyond that. So I can't, I really can't judge, but based on, on what we see right here, it's, it's, it's a beautiful job. Let's see what happens though when we pull back, because remember, the final piece is going in a national gallery and is going to have to be read from across the room. Well, the part that she did looks looks just great, but uh, so I, uh, she has a style that that must be very slow to to um, build up forms, but that doesn't disqualify for her from my, in my mind. Jamal picks one to take home, and he picks this one. So good choice. Now we go on and begin to look at the judging. Now the judging is first all the contestants are lined up and three will be pulled for what they call the semifinals and, only, and from those three only one will go on to the finals. So the judging begins and we'll take a look at our contestants and they've all been really really strong. So I wish them well. It must have been an absolutely exhausting day but now we get to see who they pick, which is really dramatic and fun. Oh, they picked this drawing, lovely. Oh, oh, just fantastic piece. Um, so, you know, we've already talked about this, so I really don't have much to say about it. All right, here's the second one. And, um, you know, we've talked about this one as well. It's a beautiful piece. I also should say that the first one that we saw, the drawing and this one, are both done by amateurs. Um, and at some point, I do want to discuss in this program about what's the difference between a professional and an amateur. There, that, that could be a robust discussion. And here's the third one that was picked. So, all strong. Now we get a chance to see the painting that they submitted to be on the program, as well as the painting that they did today. And remember, the painting that they did to be on the pro program had no time constraints, so they had as much time as they needed. So you can see the one on the left is a little bit stronger in terms of value range and completion than the one where she had four hours. But she's one of the, the, the oh, she's just a fantastic artist. It would be so interesting if she picked up a brush. I'd be fascinated to see what she does. All right, here's the second one. All the time to work on the left and four hours today. There's not a whole lot of difference between the two, so that's interesting. It doesn't give me a very strong idea of what her range is. Um, and and her, she's, as we discussed earlier, she's a very sensitive painter, and um, that would be interesting if she's chosen to, uh, in the end, to paint Tom Jones, but it's still a long road to get to there. This one, <laughs> um, yeah, really, really beautiful work. And I think it's really fun to, to put that crown on as if, as if a cartoon crown was, was put there. You know, one of, the, one of the things you like to do in any kind of painting or portraiture is, is, not, is, is come with some fresh ideas. And she has that here. So that's a nice job. I have no idea what they're going to do. This would be, uh, I, there's no way that I could in any way decide who should go forward. All right, the final judging. Let's just take one quick look at all three. They're really strong candidates for different reasons, but but I don't see Tom Jones. Uh, ooh, that, that, that one's a hard pill to swallow. How What would Tom, oh my gosh, they picked this one. Well, that surprises me, but I don't think she has a chance of winning the program. This is, as, as lovely as this piece is, and it is, it's, it, it is, um, um, it, it just doesn't, it doesn't have a lot of strength to it. And that's going to be required because of the subject that is the final portrait. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thumbs up are super important. And remember to keep the whites of your paper white, your paints wet, mask for value, mix for color, and subscribe if you would. And I'll see you next time we go on to episode eight. Then things start to get really serious. Nine and ten. Wow. Okay. Bye-bye.